In light of the fact that I changed my name on Facebook this week to um, lend to my anonymity, because I, I know that really dedicated stalkers could find where I live and could hunt me down, but it'll be harder if I change my name on Facebook. It'll confuse the stalkers. Plus, I just wanted to change my name. Philbo Baggy Pants is the name that I chose. No longer Philip Flint. Philbo Baggy Pants. I manufactured this name because, well, I put together the two, the two first nicknames that I've had the longest. Phil, which most people call me, and Bo, which my family calls me. A little explanation of Bo is in order. Started off as Bobo, which was a lot cuter coming out of a one and a half year old than a 35 year old. What I mean is my sister called me Bobo when she first could talk because in her cuteness she couldn't say big brother. Just got the buh. Let's call me Bo Bo. It stuck. My uh, cousin started calling me that. But my sister started calling me that. And now it's just Bo. I don't know if my brother-in-law knew my name was Philip the first ten years that I knew him because he just called me Bo. Even after he married my sister, he just called me Bo. Hey, Bo. You know, no big deal. Bo. But I don't think he knew my name. Maybe he did, but... Bo was just part of it. So, Phil Bo and Baggy Pants, I thought that just sounded appropriate because I... I I struggled with having baggy pants for most of my life. I'm not into the trend of uh, sagging so that people can see my butt crack just because it's cool, it's trendy. It's, uh, it's, I think it looks pretty stupid to have your pants hanging down. But my pants have been hanging down most of my life because I had no butt. And I was skinny in all the wrong places. But that's starting to change. TMI, my wife says I'm getting a butt. Working out, I've actually got glutes. I've got a little butt on me now. So, uh, baggy pants no longer. Baggy pants no longer. Ninja is what I'm called at Reset Workouts. They get started in part because I wear a banana all the time. Wrapped around my forehead, I don't think. Real ninjas wear band bandanas, but that's something. But I'm also really smooth. I'm in and out. I'm, I'm learning moves. I'm. It's kind of a tongue-in-cheek joke, I think, is what to start out with. But it, not everybody calls me ninja at workout, and I like it. I, I like being called something. I like having a nickname. Now, Wilson and Phil, as you know... If you're on this channel, that's been my nickname for quite a while. Um, this channel on uh, YouTube, my current channel, is called The Whistling Phil. The reason I call it The Whistling Phil and not just Whistling Phil is because Whistling Phil was taken by me. A little over a decade ago, I started using YouTube with the uh, channel named Whistling Phil. And I used it for a couple years and... I stopped, I'm not sure exactly why I stopped, but I stopped using it, and when I started up again, a uh, year and a half ago, I couldn't get on it. I don't remember the password. Maybe they closed the channel, maybe it's still open, maybe it's floating around out there in, in outer space somewhere in the World Wide Web space, but I can't get on it. So Whistling Phil is taken by me. The reason why I chose the nickname Whistling Phil, um, before I started that channel, a little bit over 10 years ago, um, I got to work early. And it was a small company, I worked in an office, so when I was whistling in the morning, if you could hear me across the... There was one other guy that got there really early, and he, he said, Hey, Whistling Phil. He only called me that maybe once or twice, but I liked that nickname, and it really kind of stuck and suited me, because even though I hum a lot more than I whistle, I didn't want to call, be called Hummin' Phil, because I thought that sounded weird. Whistling Phil 
sounded cool to me, so I decided I want to choose that nickname, and I started using it on everything. Now I've got a series of uh, pretty random pictures that I uh, copied them mostly in my selfies on Facebook. I'm not going to talk about all of them. Actually, most of them I won't talk about because, well, in the interest of time. But I thought I'd show that how my physical appearance has changed a little bit over the last few months. I mean, these pictures aren't that old, actually, you know, but uh, my physical appearance has changed. Something you'll notice a lot of is my orange hats. I love wearing an orange hat. Um, you also notice that green shirt. I, I'm wearing it right now. Actually, I wear it in a lot of pictures, too. Whoa! Really? Whoa! I love that face. It makes me happy. Yeah, I decided recently to uh, cut my hair, shave my goatee start over, um, because I just wanted to change. Uh, sometimes outward changes are used to exemplify inward changes. They kind of um, reflect something's going on inside. I don't know what it is. New me is coming. New me is coming. I think I used that picture twice, actually. But they, they all kind of blend together. There's headband, again with the ninja headband. I'm not thinking ninjas wore black and white diamonds on their headbands, but can't be sure. I've never met a ninja. Hmm. And my fourth grand for now.